So today is day 13, I think, of our barn house bathroom renovation. And we're getting really close. We're already starting to work on trim. So yesterday, the uh, vinyl floors, we put in the vinyl tile floors. I put three coats of clear on them, so now they're ready to go. I also got the uh, light mounted uh, above here. And I got the light switches working. And then I had to do a bunch of running around, kind of wasted my uh, afternoon. But today, I'm going to try to finish out the trim. Here's a little better look at the door trim. You can see I need to paint the door too. It's got stuff all over it. We're just going with really simple butt joints. Nothing fancy, no miter cuts, anything like that. Just keeping it real clean and simple, kind of like post and beam style. The reason I'm doing that is because I want it to still kind of look like the rest of the trim of the house, which we did basic as well. The board and batten ceilings are all just butt joints. And then even tops of doors, windows, closets, they're all just butt joints as well. But they do have that little flare out which is a little detail that kind of adds to it, just makes it look a little fancier, but we don't really have the room in the bathroom. I'll show you why. That's because basically that trim would be touching the wall. Okay, so it'd look a little goofy there. And I mean, I could do it there. I'd have room for it. But over here, I don't have room. That one is basically gonna to be touching the wall really close to it. And this one is definitely touching the brick. So, or not broke the tile. So, I just don't have room for it. I'll just keep them super simple. I actually did the same thing in the uh, downstairs bathroom. Just kept them really basic. I even kind of did the same thing for the window. Now, one thing on the window I'm trying to decide is actually the bottom lip here. I'm trying to decide if I just want to go super flush, just plain trim, or if I want to kind of dress it a little bit like I did on all the other windows where I have that little bit of a bump out lip and then this piece kind of angles down. I did not do that in a downstairs bathroom, so I'm thinking maybe I'll just keep my bathrooms the same. But I don't know. I'm trying to decide. This is a big wall. It probably would look kind of cool in here. I didn't want it to stick out too much so you didn't like bump your, you know, bump your arm into it or something because it's so high. So I, I haven't quite decided that yet, but I still got to cut that trim. And then also for the door trim, where I cut, I mean, you can see I need to sand it a little better. And I want to round over the edge. I'm going to have to prime it with oil-based primer. I learned the hard way. You have to do that to the wood because a lot of the trimmer house we did not do that to and all the little like that those spots are poking through now they bled through the paint so we we'll have to really fix that at some point but uh, anyway hopefully i can get all the uh trim on the doors and the windows done i, I would love for it to be painted and up and uh, nailed up too now another thing i got to do is the uh frame around the door you can see how you can still see wood i'm gonna have to paint the gray so i'm gonna see if i still have our gray paint we did the doors and I, I hope so otherwise I'm at the color match and that reminds me of one more thing over here I forgot that we were supposed to bump out our door frame and you can see how it doesn't quite line up to the uh, drywall that we had to bump out to match the uh, cement board over here I really dislike taking out door frames I learned the hard way that I am really terrible at doing doors. As soon as I put them back in, they look nice and level and the doors never shut the same. They don't close right. I really don't want to mess with that. So I'm going to cheat and literally cut corners. And what I'm going to do is just cut a little piece of filler wood to nail up here. We'll paint it gray so it matches. It's not the uh, most professional way of doing it, but it'll work. I just want to keep it simple. It's just a bathroom. You know, I'm not doing anything crazy here. I'm just trying to get it done. So I'll do that and then my trim will sit flush and there won't be, you know, a gap like that. So I'll do that and uh, try to get this trim done today. It'd be really cool. I was thinking more about this window. So I went downstairs and looked at the bathroom down there. And I decided that the way I did the trim down there, plain Jane, it's too ugly. I can't do it up here. This is such a big window and a big open wall. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it out this way so you can kind of see how I did it. So the measurements I took are basically from, well, it might be easier here. So from here to here, all right, so that was 39 and a half, I think I said last night, but I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller so it definitely fits, so I'll go 39 and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and put the full fat one by four on the side, which is three and a half inches wide. So then we're gonna add three and a half inches here, and I'm gonna add three and a half inches here, plus it bumps out an extra inch and a quarter. So inch and a quarter here, and inch and a quarter here. So I did my math and I believe it's 48 and three quarters. So that piece, oh, also forgot to mention. Okay, so I was gonna bump out this way to uh, three inches, but I also wanna come past the uh, one by four that comes here, which is three quarter inch. 
So I'm gonna come out past that another three quarter inch. So I'm taking three plus inch and a half, so it's four and a half. So there we go, there's my bottom one, four and a half by 48 and three quarter. And then my other trim pieces are very basic. And uh, the sides, I'll figure out the length once I have this one setting in here and once the top one is nailed in, then I can just actually set a board up there and mark it, make it fit. And then uh, I'll just uh, trim it out exactly like this one. I'm gonna go the full width, one by fours. I'll do the top with the flare out. And then I'll do the bottom with a little angle. I think it, I like that look. It's really basic. But uh, on a big window like this, if I just go too plain Jane, I, I just don't like the look. So I'll go ahead and dress it out. It should be pretty cool. So while I'm out making a huge mess with the table saw today, I'm also going to cut down my uh, board and batten ceiling trim too. Now I made it the other day, I don't remember the width anymore, two and a quarter or two and a half or something like that. But I forgot I'm using uh, one by, so it's three quarter inch thick, it's a little too thick. So I'm actually just slicing them through and thinning them out to about a half inch thick. So this will take a while because it's such a big cut, but once I get done with that, then I'll actually start messing with the uh, window trim and then sanding and painting everything again. I was just thinking since I'm working lone wolf style today, my wife's at work, I need to prioritize my uh, jobs a little better here and kind of multitask. So instead of cutting the rest of the wood on the table saw and making a huge mess, I think right now I need to go ahead and all of my door trim pieces and then the little pieces that are going to go against the wall, I need to sand the rough cut edges and slightly round off the corners. And then I will put a coat of primer on there. And then while that primer and then eventually paint is drying, I can finish cutting wood. So let me go ahead and sand these and get them done. And that's all I need, just a slightly more rounded profile than the ones that are straight cut. A little smoother, it'll look better once I get painted. I got all my pieces sanded. And I even cut the little tiny bump out trim pieces I'm going to put on the door to cheat there. That's what these are. So I'm going to go over all these raw sides with some oil-based primer to help block it out. It'll probably take two coats, but it's pretty warm out today, so I think it'll dry. Once it's dry, then I have to put on some gloss white paint. So while, at, while this paint is drying, I'm going to go ahead and continue cutting on a table saw and just try to get everything done at once. Hopefully this will go by pretty quick. mess. I got all my door trim pieces primed. They're waiting for paint. So I'm going to start making my window trim now. So this should give you a better idea of how I'm doing the trim here. So see, I got this piece, the sill goes all the way back, comes out inch and a half and it extends this way. And that is so that I can cut another piece that will cover up. See there, our inner board there, cover that up and then it'll overhang a little bit. Now this board right here I'm using to test is a little short, but you get an idea. All right, same thing over here, cover that up. And then see if we got the boards up there, the one up top is wedged. And then I will cut my board that goes up top that has that little bit of a cutout on it. And then same thing down here at the bottom. I have a big one down here. I probably have to use a one by six. And it's the one that has the slight angle cut on it. So pretty simple little design here. It just takes a little bit of work and a little bit of test fitting and all that. But should be pretty cool. So let me uh, get the rest cut and then I'll have to prime them. And I want to get them painted and then bring them in and install. And then what you got to do is i have to go through and caulk the little seams and all that kind of stuff. But that's how I'm going to build my window. Looks pretty cool and it's a lot more uh, detailed than the little simple ones I'm going to do on the door. Alright, so I got all of the other pieces cut. I just have them loosely sitting up there. Begin a rough idea what it's going to look like. And my little bottom piece here. Drop it in. It's going to look something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Everything fits real nice. I have them all labeled, so all I have to do is take them outside. I need to prime them, probably about two coats to block out like knots like that. And then uh, I'll paint everything and I should be able to install it. Oh, also, for some reason I cut these a little long, so I'll cut right there at those little lines. But uh, that should be real easy. So I'll get them cut and uh, primed and painted. And then these should be able to go up and then I should be able to put the uh, door trim up too once those get painted.
was able to get all that primer to dry so now I'm putting on two coats of semi-gloss white. This is all like the door and wall trim and then over there is all the trim for the window. So hopefully I can get it all up tonight. So all the trim pieces now have two coats of semi-gloss on top of two coats of primer and my second coat I used a brush. I wanted a little bit of brush stroke in it because the uh, roller was giving it kind of a weird texture almost like a really fine sandpaper. I didn't like that so Hopefully it'll dry. As you can see, I'm losing my light. I have about 45 minutes, so I gotta call it quits tonight. I probably shouldn't be running the compressor and all that, so to be able to nail them up. So hopefully they will dry and I can get them up tonight. If not, I can do that first thing tomorrow. So right now I'll just clean off my stuff and I hope these dry so I can get them up. I've lost all my light now and I'm still waiting on these to dry. They're like almost there but it's humid enough out here tonight that they're just really slowly drying. I mean, you can see how they're still a little too shiny. There's wet spots and uh, man, I just can't touch them yet. When I do it kind of leaves fingerprints in them so uh, I don't think I'm going to get to it tonight but we'll see. Well today was one of those days where I got tons of work done. It took forever to wait on everything and then all the little minuscule steps you got to do of sanding and rounding corners and double checking measurements and all that kind of stuff. And I got everything built. I even got it painted and I just ran out of time at the very last minute. They're too wet. I can't put them up tonight. So I'm actually have to wait up a few hours and let them dry so I can actually just bring them inside. But uh, tomorrow I'll get the window trim put on. It is totally done. And this door right here that goes into the office, I'll get that trim up. The door trim that goes to the bedroom, I will not put up yet because I need to do a couple other things first, like grout the tile, which is going to meet right at the trim, so I don't want the trim interfering with that. And then I should be able to put it up. And we also got to start fitting the vanity pretty soon. Now, I know the trim is going to happen tomorrow. I'll start working on the floor trim as well. I need to get it done and then probably start doing the ceiling trim as soon as the grouting is done as well. So anyway, there's, there's a lot of trim coming up, but that's kind of one of the last things that happens anyway. And then it's just vanity toilet grout and we're pretty much there. So anyway, thanks for checking out today. I got a lot of stuff done. It was mostly just trim based, but it had to get done. And uh, anyway, tomorrow I should get a lot more and it should really look a lot different in here. So stay tuned. It's going to be pretty awesome. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate that. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. That really helps get it out in front of other people that might like to check it out too. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that to keep up with more videos. And if you want to see some other projects I have, I have some here on the screen and down in the description below as well.